So in Asia Pacific, uh, Asia Pacific, uh, 31 countries has been assessed. Uh, and as you can see, uh, in Asia Pacific, uh, New Zealand also come into, uh, into the uh, assessment. And they have done very well. As we saw earlier, New Zealand uh, is the top country. And Singapore also did very well, uh, 85 points. And also Hong Kong. So these three countries have sort of like helped to pull up the score for uh, Asia Pacific. Uh, and, so, and then the other countries are not doing well within uh, Asia Pacific or Cambodia, uh, Afghanistan and North Korea. Okay. Now uh, we come to the score uh, of uh, uh, our situation in Malaysia. And let me first start about uh, some historical figures that we have. Um, first of all, in 2019. Now, 2019, our score was uh, 53 and our rank, global ranking was 51. And if you can remember very well, in, uh, in, in 2019, uh, our score actually improved compared to 2018. Uh, particularly after some of the reforms uh, were there and there were a lot of action taken against uh, uh, corruption cases, high profile corruption cases and so on. So that was in 2019. And then in 2020, uh, unfortunately, our, our score dropped by two points and, uh, and our ranking also dropped, in fact, by six uh, levels and our rank was uh, 57. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, the, when we looked at all this, when we looked at our, our, our scores or generally for any country for that matter, um, it is very important that when scores are given, uh, governments of each of, uh, each government of, uh, have to look at this very, very seriously. Uh, some of the recommendations that we have made. Because if those recommendations are not taken seriously, then you are bound to have uh, a trend whereby uh, it either can, be, uh, can go down uh, the lowest cost, to the lowest cost, and it can be very, very difficult to recover. So as we are now all waiting for 2021, what was our score? And I'm going to give you the score right now. Okay, this is our score for 2021. So you can see our score has dropped further uh, from the rare, from 53, we dropped to 51, and we have dropped another uh, two points. Uh, sorry, uh, three points. No? So, so it is a, a very worrying trend uh, that we are seeing. And our rank has also dropped to 62. Now, it's very important uh, for us to understand the focus of our discussion today should be more on the score. You see, the, the rank can be uh, one or two steps, but we shouldn't be misled by the rank because sometimes some countries, uh, new countries may come to the assessment and then you will find that your, your ranking has dropped. That doesn't mean that you are doing bad. Uh, you know, it's because of the new countries have come in or sometimes the other way around. When uh, your rank goes up, it doesn't mean you are doing very well. So you have to actually look at your score, uh, where it has gone. So in our case, uh, we see a trend from 2019. Our score has been going down. And uh, so we will need to analyze uh, what is actually happening to Malaysia. All right. Now, when it comes to the analysis, uh, you can see... Uh, that uh, uh, Malaysia is in this band, whereby we have scored 48 points in 2021. And if you look at this uh, CPI barometer, uh, we are moving in the, in the direction uh, towards uh, a lower score, which is not very good. We should be moving in the other direction. So you can see from 2021, we have uh, dropped uh, five points uh, in three years. So from 2019 until 2021, we have dropped five points. 
Now, some may say, oh, only five points. No, actually, the five points is very, very serious. Uh, it's very, very significant when, 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 when we uh, have a five-point drop. So this is something that we need to look at very seriously, and uh, let's analyze that. Now, what were the sources used for Malaysia? Remember, just now I mentioned that there are 13 different sources, but it can vary from country to country. So in Malaysia's case, there were nine different sources that were used to come to these uh, 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 results. So you can see between uh, 2020 and 2021, uh, Several of the assessments, you can see the scores have actually uh, dropped. Uh, some actually have remained the same and some have actually dropped. Uh, one important point that I need to explain to you is out of these nine different sources, there are some sources because the CPI is done over, uh, is, is rolled over two years. So some of the data that is picked up here could be 2021 as well as some from 2020. Uh, so it depending on the in the particular survey, so you can see some have actually dropped and some have, uh, have uh, uh, stayed stagnant, and except for one that has just shown a slight improvement. All right. So uh, the total score for Malaysia 2021 is 436 uh, compared to 462, and an, on an aggregate basis, uh, it is 48 points uh, compared to 51 points in 2020. So we have dropped by three points.